so Jake, when he had talked about basically the, <laughs> the, the beauty, one of the beautiful things about the deferred sales trust is, you know, you don't have to deal with all that. <laughs> so it really gave me uh, a lot more flexibility with time. And so enter the deferred sales trust now. So now let's, now let's transition to Jake tells you there's a way to do this, right? And it's something perhaps you had never heard of before or you thought it was something different, but walk us through that aha moment and, and then just the process of like, oh, well, is this actually real? Does this actually work? Is it legal? Could it work for me? Walk people through that for the first time who are listening, just going, man, I've got $10 million worth of mobile home parks. And I thought I was just going to do the 1031 swap until I drop, never sell and just buy more. But I'm kind of, you know, getting a feel for that more passive type of way of doing things. So walk, walk us through that journey of the deferred sales trust, Gary. Yeah. So <clears throat> I knew one thing was that uh, I knew enough about, I'm not a, I am not a real estate expert, right? I, I, am, I don't claim to be that, but I got into the parks and it, and it took on a life of its own. I got passionate about it and, and, and got five parks under my belt. One thing I knew it didn't want to do was deal with a 1031 and the hassles and the timeframes and the stress of trying to sell and compliance and all that stuff. It was too complicated. I didn't want, the, I just didn't want the stress of that. So Jake, when he had talked about basically the, <laughs> the, the beauty, one of the beautiful things about the deferred sales trust is, you know, you don't have to deal with all that. <laughs> so it really gave me uh, a lot more flexibility with time as far as how to deal with, uh, I can just park it and leave it for a while and figure out what I want to do, hit pause for a couple of years. Or, uh, and also get, the other thing that was really attractive to me was the amount of, th you don't have to invest in like kind real estate. You can invest in whatever you want. If you want to do crypto, if you're nuts, you want to do that, you can do, do passive investments. You can do stocks, bonds, equities, whatever. Uh, yeah. You can do real estate. You can buy businesses. You could you could do hard money lending to uh, angel investing, whatever you want to do. What, uh, total freedom, uh, essentially. So very attractive to me. And um, it was it was a challenge getting up the learning curve. And I, you know, I'll be honest, I, I, I'm far enough up the learning curve to give me a confidence in the vehicle and and that it will work um i live in a small town my cpa i've been with for 30 years he was extremely skeptical he goes nope that's on the ira's dirty dozen list you can't use that so you know so um so um i'm like well i, I don't think these guys would tell me something and, and put their name out there and tell me something that's totally illegal and expect to continue to be out from behind bars for long. So, um, so I, uh, it was three or four calls with my CPA, the, uh, with Jake, with, uh, Brett, with the, uh, tax attorney, uh, that the trust uses, uh, to get my attorney to come on board. And, uh, and he did. He's, and so he ran some numbers for me. Here's what you look like if you paid the, paid all the taxes now and invested. Uh, and then uh, outside of the trust, here's what you'd look like if you deferred, stayed in the trust, did the same investments, and I'd be, you know, uh, it was noticeably better off within the trust. Um, he had never heard of it. Most people I've talked to have never heard of it. And I, I, evidently it's for, you know, high net worth transactions and, and, and it's not a, it's not on Main Street per se, I guess, to the, to the, everybody on the street. But so anyways, I, I went for it, you know, and I said, I'm going to figure this out. A lot of calls with you guys. A lot of you guys, I asked the same question three or four times. And until you mapped it out on a piece of paper for me on your screen, then I could understand it. I like pictures. And um, so, uh, yeah, that, that, that brought us to the point where, okay, we're doing it and going through all that process. And I think we're fully like just in the last couple of weeks, fully uh, the trust is fully in receipt of all the funds and we're, and Jake is, deploying the investments as we'd planned. Amazing. And by the way, if anyone wants to learn more about this or get started or get an inspiration for maybe you're looking at this, I want you to contact Jake Carpenter. I want you to call 509-591-9900. That's 509-591-9900. Or look up Jake Carpenter uh, on um, on LinkedIn and he's out of uh, Washington. He's, he's amazing at what he does. Mm -hmm.